Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of angular motion. We will help you understand what causes objects to rotate, how we can affect inertia, and Newton's laws of angular motion. Let's get started. Angular motion is movement around a fixed point or axis. It occurs when a force is applied outside the centre of mass. Torque is the rotational force that causes an object to turn around its axes of rotation. Torque can be measured by taking force times the distance of the moment arm from the fulcrum, or axes of rotation. Angular distance is the angle rotated about an axis measured in degrees or radians. For example, in a pirouette, the athlete moves an angular distance of 360 degrees. Angular displacement is the smallest change in angle between the starting and finishing point, and is also measured in degrees or radians. If we use the same pirouette example, the athlete moves on an angular displacement of zero degrees. Angular velocity is the rate of change of angular displacement or the rate of spin. It is measured in radians per second. Angular velocity can be calculated by taking angular displacement over time. Angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity and is measured in rads per second squared. Angular acceleration can be calculated by taking angular velocity over time. Moment of inertia is the resistance of a body to angular motion or rotation. Inertia depends on the mass of the body. The greater the mass, the greater tendency to resist change in its state of motion. And the distribution of mass around the axes. For example, a tucked somersault has a lower moment of inertia than a straight somersault. To increase angular velocity, or rate of spin, the athlete needs to bring their mass towards the axes of rotation. Angular momentum is the relationship between the amount of inertia and angular velocity, or what happens when our bodies spin and turn. It is inversely proportional, so when one goes up, the other one goes down. If the rate of spin increases, the amount of resistance decreases. In order to further understand angular motion, we have to take a look at Newton's laws of angular motion. These laws hold similarities to Newton's laws of motion, but please remember they are different and apply specifically to angular motion. Law of conservation of angular momentum. A rotating body will continue to turn with constant angular momentum unless an external force acts on it. Law of angular acceleration. The angular acceleration of a body is proportional to the torque causing it. And law of angular reaction. For every torque that is exerted by one body on another, there is an equal and opposite torque exerted back. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.